United Nations peacekeepers have been a presence in the Democratic Republic of Congo since 1999, but are now facing pressure to move out of the country. The 16,000 soldiers and police that make up the United Nations peacekeeping mission in Congo, known as MONUSCO, have been on a two-decade mission attempting to pacify a region plagued by instability and militia violence. The UN Security Council is now putting pressure on MONUSCO to pull out all of its troops by 2022. David Greasley is MONUSCO's Deputy Special Representative for Protection and Operations. I think it's important to recognize how far the, the country has come and, and to continue to work our way out at a pace that allows the national security forces to, to manage the situation locally and, and, and therefore allow us to leave without having to come back someday. MONUSCO is the largest and third most expensive operation of its kind in the world and has a mandate to stay only as long as the Congolese government wants it to. Violence committed by more than 100 armed groups has forced over half a million people in the eastern Congo to flee their homes since the start of the year. At one camp in the northeastern city of Benia, officials told Reuters that more than 10,000 have fled recent insecurity. Many complained of a lack of security and food supplies in the camp. Le vœu de la République démocratique du Congo Current President Félix Tshisekedi spoke last month of his will to cooperate with the peacekeeping mission. And authorities are now meeting with MONUSCO to devise a joint strategy for a responsible exit from the country.